Today we are taking a look at the Vermeisen Surface Resistance Checker. This unit is available as a standalone unit, the 225717, and as a kit, the 225718. The kit includes a set of two leads, two 2.27 kg electrodes, two crocodile clips, and a carry case. Before first use, install the 9 volt battery needed to power the meter. Ensure that the battery's polarities are orientated in the correct fashion to avoid any possible circuit damage. The Vermeisen Surface Resistance Checker is a portable battery-powered checker fitted with built-in parallel electrodes. These electrodes allow for a quick verification of point-to-point -point surface resistance. The unit, together with the leads and electrodes, can also carry out a point-to-point -point surface resistance test and a resistance-to-ground test. To carry out any tests on a surface, first remove where possible all items from the surface, including ESD-sensitive devices, but do not clean the surface prior to testing, as this could affect the reading. To perform a quick surface resistance check, place the checker on the most commonly used portion of the surface, ensuring that the checker is at least 50mm away from the edge and 76mm away from any grounded point. Toggle the electrode switch to the left, indicated as internal. Then perform the test by pushing and holding the black test button. You will see the LEDs flash through the resistance and then stop between 10 to the 7 ohms and 10 to the 8 ohms. The reading should be considered as between 1 times 10 to the 7 and 1 times 10 to the 9. This is in spec according to the EN61340-5-1 standard as the upper limit for the surface resistance is 1 times 10 to the 9 ohms. The point-to-point -point surface resistance measurement can also be acquired by using the two leads and two 2.27 kg electrodes that are included in the kit 225718. First, plug in the leads and electrodes. Place the probes on the surface at least 25 cm apart. Make sure the toggle switch is now pointed to external. Then push and hold the black test button. As before, the LEDs will flash for about 15 seconds. When it finds a stable reading, the LEDs will stop flashing and display the point-to-point -point surface resistance. To verify proper grounding of a surface, we must test the resistance to ground, the symbol for this being RG. Take one lead out of an external probe and plug it into the protective earth ground. In our example, we are using an earth bonding point plug. Make sure the toggle switch is now pointed to external. Press and hold the test button as before to get your reading. From each of the tests performed in our example today, we can see that our bench matting is in the static dissipative range. Additional features to note with this equipment are the automatic test voltage selection and low battery indicator. The test voltage will switch from 10 volts to 100 volts should the measured resistance exceed 1 times 10 to the 6 ohms. The low battery indicator will inform you when the battery needs replacing. The unit should not be used when the low battery indicator is on.